Hello, I'm John McNamara, the Information Architect for IBM Messaging, and I am here today with a number of legends from messaging development. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi John. Hi, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to talk to you about MQLite and Bluemix, but before that, shall we all introduce ourselves? Uh, well, hi there, John. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Charlie Martin. I work in the development uh, team for MQ, and specifically at the moment, convenient for today's conversation uh, related to cloud. Uh, hi, John. I, I'm Mark Phillips, Phillips and uh, I'm the, the development lead for, for MQLite and for some of the other kind of cloudy stuff we've been doing around MQ for the last few years. Hi, I'm Mark Walters. I recently joined the MQ team as a UI developer. Okay, so the first question then I'd ask is, I was talking about MQLite, what is MQLite? Okay, yeah, yeah, so MQLite's a, a new messaging runtime that, that we've been developing to make messaging much, much easier to, to get started with. So it's aimed at application developers who want to develop applications in languages that we, we typically haven't supported in IBM and in messaging. So we're, we're targeting uh, languages like Node.js and Ruby and Python and trying to give a, a really simple uh, messaging API and a very easy to get started with messaging runtime that you can find and download and, and get running in really just a few minutes. So And it cuts out all of the kind of administration that, that you may typically associate with the kind of enterprise messaging products. So uh, from playing around with MQLite, like, um, there are two like two aspects, aren't there? There's a kind of a local version of MQLite you're running on your own machine, and there's a kind of a, a cloud version as well. What, what's the difference between the two? Well, an important, important part of it is that you can write your applications once and then worry about where to deploy them. Right. Um, so you can develop your application standalone on your laptop um, without any other dependencies, get some code working, and then deploy the same application to the cloud running in, in Bluemix. Oh. And so there, you'd, of course, you don't need any installs or any of the infrastructure, but that might be where you want to run the application long term. I get you. So um, if you do it locally, it allows you to create an application and to test it locally as well. Yeah, and, and then the then speed you... that gives you, you know, turn around. Yeah. Brilliant. And then when you've when you've done that and you're happy with it, you can promote it up into Bluemix, run it on the cloud. Yes. That sounds sweet. So you mentioned something called Bluemix. So what is that? Okay, so Bluemix is IBM's cloud application platform. So it's a, it's a platform as a service. Uh, it's based on an open source cloud platform called Cloud Foundry. Right. And it's, uh, the, the really great thing about Bluemix and Cloud Foundry is that it allows uh, developers to write applications in lots of different languages. It's it's um, a sort of polyglot platform, which is not easy to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, as I said, we, we support a, a range of different languages. Um, and it, the way it works is you, uh, you can use the UI or a simple command line to, to push your application into the cloud. Right. The, platform hosts your application and it offers a load of services as well so if you want a database or if you want a messaging system then all those things are all sitting there ready to be linked to in the cloud so you just create service instances of a database or a messaging system, uh, bind your application to it and you're away, you don't have to do any work to configure a database or install the database or install the messaging system, it's all sort of sitting there waiting for you in the cloud. Awesome, so um, I think you've touched on it there. Uh, so, but what are the benefits, would you say, of, of running in this kind of cloud environment? That's the more traditional aspects of messaging that we're, we're more used to. Um, the the main is is consumable for a developer. So it lets you. The idea is it lets you concentrate on the problem you're trying to solve, rather than oh, I need to go and uh, find a bit of hardware to run this on. Um, I need to get access to something. I need to buy something. Um, it's all just there to go and sign up for and uh, and use. So you can just try stuff out and uh, and get up and running much much faster. That's a big mind shift, isn't it, from where we used to be of having to uh, grab hardware, expensive hardware, expensive software before you would even start doing anything. And now you've got the, you've got the opportunity to play with this kind of a freemium model of just trying stuff out and innovating. You know, really, with just a, a laptop and a connection. I think that's just awesome.
You yeah. can just get to the fun stuff, can't you? You don't have that sigh of, oh, <laughs> how do I get started with this? <laughs> yeah, and you can use it for, for 30 days before it starts nagging you for a credit card. So, yeah, you, you can have a good play before you... So what do you say the main differences between MQ and MQ Lite are? So MQ Lite, uh, certainly running Bluemix... <clears throat> It supports uh, a JMS API for Java applications and it supports a, a Node.js API for, for Node.js applications. So those are the two APIs it supports, whereas MQ supports uh, a, a kind of a bigger range of languages, um, but more really around the traditional languages like COBOL and C and that kind of thing. They're, they're the t- t- languages you might come to MQ and start writing your applications in. With MQ Lite, you've got the, the two APIs. Uh, and you've also got a much kind of simpler model. So whereas with uh, traditional enterprise messaging, you have to kind of create your queues, you have to create a, 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 the server and create all those things up front. With MQ Lite, you, you just write your application to use queues or, or topics or whatever. And all the kind of administration for those things is done behind the scenes. So when you first use a queue, we'll create it on the fly. Um, we'll clean it up. Uh, when you've stopped using it and that kind of thing, so so it's a much much simpler model really with, with MQ Lite to, right. to remove the obstacles to get started. Does it use any special protocols? Or is it is it different in that way? Yeah. Um, so so the JMS API uses the the, the traditional MQ um, protocols, which are kind of IBM proprietary protocols, but but the new MQ Lite API, which you're using for Node.js. That uses a, an open standard protocol called AMQP, so that we use the 1.0 version of AMQP. So uh, I know I mentioned Node.js. Um, it's something I've got to play around with, and that's just tremendous fun. You guys play with Node Red. Uh, that's just tremendous fun. I got a, a uh, I got an app up and running. In, I think it's literally like two and a half minutes using Node Red on Node.js. Just so easy to use, and I think it's. I think it's really encouraging that we're moving toward this kind of ultra consumable model where you can get up and running with stuff in like no time at all. Yeah. And with no expect with very little expenditure, which is really cool. How would you get involved and download MQ Lite? Is there a community you can go to to, 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 to get the goodies? Yeah, yeah, there's a quite a nice website. It's been really led by the kind of IBM design initiative. Right. So it, it's uh, a bit less corporate than some of our other oh, <laughs> web pages. Yeah. Uh, so it's quite a, a nice user-friendly website, um, and if you Google for MQ Lite, then it, it comes up pretty much at the top of the page. So it's dead easy to find. Uh, yeah, so you just go to that website, download it from there, and it's um, it's not a kind of heavyweight install. It just comes down as a zip file, so you yeah. just unzip it, and then there's a start and a stop uh, batch or a command to to run to start the server and stop the server, and you're away. Brilliant. And if you want to play with Bluemix, I guess you Google for Bluemix and uh, and go and get started. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you go there and um, you'll need to put in some signing details, but it is free for the first 30 days, so Sweet. you can really get a feel for it and what it will do for you. Okay, okay well, in that case, then I will, I will find the URLs, put them in the notes, and let everyone have a play. Guys, thank you so very much. It's been an absolute joy as ever. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Thanks. now. Thanks. Cheers. 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 Pleasure. Cheers. Bye.